Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to do this makeup look right here that you're seeing. Um, it's inspired by this Pinterest board that my cousin sent me because she asked me to be a bridesmaid and then also asked me to do her makeup on her wedding day, which is really exciting, but I'm also very nervous about it. So I decided to start practicing now. It's like in April of next year, so I've got quite some time. So anyway, the reason why I wanted to start it now is because um, I guess in the months to come, if you guys have any suggestions on what to do to make makeup last longer or any videos or video recommendations that I should be watching, um, let me know and send it to me. This is the look that I came up with, which is my first try, so there might be more of these videos. Um, but yeah, if you have any product re recommendations or um, suggestions, um, things that I should be reading, things that I should know, please let me know. And also, this video is sponsored by Flexi Spots. So I have these two desks in this back work area, which I'll give you a tour of at, of at some point as soon as they get everything tidied together. So I have my work desk, which is double monitors. It's fantastic because this desk, um, you can adjust the height. So for the most part of the day, I'm in the lowest seating position. And throughout the day, I'll stand up. It's a stand-up desk as well. So you can adjust the levels on how high you want it. But my favorite part of this is the secret pull-out drawer underneath the desk, which at my beauty desk right here, I have my makeup brushes stored under. And at my work desk, I have like my SD drives and my batteries and pens and all of that. The desk that I'm sitting at right now, the reason why I chose it is because it has a glass top, which is great for product photography, but also if I were to use lights, like if lights were coming in right now, it, there wouldn't be too many like harsh shadows underneath my chin because the light reflects off the tabletop. If you guys are in the market for a new standing desk or a new work desk, check out FlexiSpot. I'll leave all the information in the down bar. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with using some primer. So this one right here, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. And I've been applying this with a makeup sponge. And I really like this because it's the same exact texture as a beauty blender. It works just the same. It works really well. Um, but you can plant this. It's biodegradable, so it just kind of um, decomposes. But it feels exactly the same as a beauty blender, so it's pretty fantastic. I also really like the shape of this one because there's like a bigger flat end and then a smaller flat end right here. And then obviously you can use the bottom to tap out stuff, but I like using the wedge ends. And then I'm also gonna use the Giorgio Orani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color six. So my cousin Amy and I, we kind of grew up together. She lived, or she still lives in the San Fernando Valley. So pretty close by. Um, and at the, when I was growing up, I lived in Orange County and she would come by like on the weekends and we would just kind of like have sleepovers and stuff and she was like my best friend when I was a kid especially. As we grew older, she traveled a lot for work and yes, yeah, so she worked out in Myanmar for a while and um, moved back before everything happened and um, yeah, so she's been back here to go engaged and then she sent me a text saying, hey, can I see you? And immediately I got like really nervous. I get really bad anxiety sometimes, but I knew that she was getting married. So I thought that she was gonna ask me to be, um, I don't know, like her maid of honor or something like that, which I would have to say no, because I, um, I just get really nervous. I mean, like I'm getting nervous just talking about it. I just, I don't do well in that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put on some highlighter. So I'm between the fluid sheer, hmm. Should I do a powder highlighter? So she really wants like a dewy skin, healthy skin kind of look. So I feel like these would be great. However, a powder highlighter would just last longer and be more pigmented. So what would you do? Cause I could just use a powder highlighter and then use like a Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist afterwards. I think I'm just gonna go for this one, which is like a very natural looking. This is from Merit Beauty. It's called Kava. And um, it's just a very natural looking highlight. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm really bad at planning these things and I have 
sometimes I get really bad social anxiety, which a lot of people are very surprised about because I, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm pretty social. Um, but even around my friends, I get social anxiety sometimes because I don't know. It's, it's funny and I know I need to work on that, but, um, I know that if I were to even like being a bridesmaid, um, is making me a little bit nervous too, just cause, uh, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm sure everyone's very kind and very nice and everything, but I don't want to like say the wrong thing and embarrass her and I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, I hope it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna put on some, I was in between like using a powder blush or a cream blush, so suggestions on that obviously, but I think I'm gonna use this because it looks like the natural color that, or flush color that she was looking for. This is in the color Fielding and it's from Freck Beauty. Let me use this end right here. I'm just gonna stamp it in. Um, yeah, I know it's something that I need to work on, the whole anxiety thing, because I just need to get over it, or I don't know. There's been like situations where um, as soon as I feel uncomfortable about something, I'll, um, I'll just leave the situation completely, and people think it's so rude, and I mean, I, I think it's rude too, but it's just, that's just what I have to do, you know? There's been instances where I've had really bad anxiety at a party or something, and um, yeah, this one time I had like really bad anxiety and I excused myself to go use the bathroom, and when I went into the bathroom, like my whole, like this whole area was just breaking out in hives, like, like a full on rash, you know? And, um, I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but it happens. And when it happens, it's like freaking embarrassing. So yeah. Um, all right. So for, I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of baking. So I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to use this while it's wet and kind of just try to get the areas that would get kind of greasy. So up here and then around here as well. And I'm just gonna let it soak up the oil for a little bit. And then wipe it off. Oh, and then also if you do like the contour part, hurts a good thing to do <laughs> I was watching a video yesterday about doing the this part right here because it makes everything look very defined look kind of crazy right now but I'm gonna brush it off later um, yeah if you were to if you have anxiety and you were to go to a party with a bunch of random people, or not random people, but people don't, you don't really know, what would you do, and you ha you know that you have to stay there, what would you do to kind of help yourself feel more comfortable? And I don't want to like drink or anything because I know that I have to be um, present, you know, like with her family and her friends and just the people who are around, so I don't want to like embarrass her or use alcohol as a crutch, you know? Um, yeah, there's gotta be like different tricks out there. I'm drawing on the brows with the Kosas Brow Pop. Some definition. I think on her, I might use something a bit more like pointy. Cause I really want it to like stay on all day. Also, are there any face mists that you guys know of that will keep makeup on all day? Let me know. Okay, brushing it out. I'm really looking forward to this wedding though because this is the first wedding in my family that, um, yeah, like ever since 
I was probably 11 or something like that. There hasn't been a major wedding. Well, besides her younger brother, which I missed his wedding because I was stuck in Japan. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited for this wedding. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and wipe off all that excess powder. And I guess this is a good chance for me to like kind of see how long this will last too, right? Since, what time is it right now? Like around noon? Yeah, and I have all day to try out this makeup look. It's pretty warm out too, so I guess I could see what the temperature is going to be like. I love that this wedding is going to be in April, so it's not going to be too cold out, so I don't have to worry about sweating off the makeup and stuff. All right, so now that the makeup is totally baked in, I want to do a little bit of contour, so using this angled brush right here and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It smells so good. I'm just going to do just a little bit. And then especially in the hairline, just like digging in there. We're using the same contour shade. Same bronzer too. Um, I'm going to use a ponytail brush, just going to do the eye socket. I don't want to build the color too deep because in the photos that she sent, it wasn't too um, dark. I have this palette from forever ago. This is from Hourglass. It's called the Ambient Lighting Edit and Surreal Light. I think they come out with a different one every year. But this one is a really old one. Um, I'm gonna use just for some natural looking highlight. Eyelash curler, which is fantastic. It was recommended by Rosemary Swift. I'm still working out the mascara eyelashes thing because I know that she's probably gonna be crying because it's your wedding day, you're gonna cry. I'm probably gonna cry. Um, but the eyelash or the mascara that I'm using is the Straight Up Mascara from RS, RMS Beauty because that's what I have right now. I also have the uh, the Merit Beauty one too. So I guess in between these two, I'm gonna go for this one because I really like it. Um, it's kind of like a drier formula and it's great for lengthening. The wand itself is a little bit big for my liking, so I prefer something that has like a silicone wand, but. I do really like this formula, so I'm going to keep using it. I just wish the wand was a little bit smaller or silicone. Okay, I mean, that, my eye makeup is really simple. It's something that I would totally wear every day. Um, this is a very simple makeup look. It's like, you know, as simple as they come. So I'm going to put on some lip balm. This is from Merit Beauty. It's the Sangria Tinted Lip Oil. To add a little bit more color to the center, I'm going to put on this um, lip and cheek stick from Make Beauty. It's Beezy Beezy. It's Maddie's color. And man, I really like this color. This is the last I have of it. But yeah. I'm going to focus it in right there. It's a little bit more matte. It's like an orangey, bricky color. And that's it. This is what I have for my cousin's makeup look. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you have any way of keeping this makeup on, let's pretend it's gonna be like the most humid hot day ever. What would you use to keep this makeup on? But remember, we want her to have dewy skin, but it's gotta last. Um, yeah, clean skin, fleshy, um, no crazy eye makeup. If you have any suggestions, if you have any video ideas that, or like videos that you want to send me links to, please, please do, because that would help uh, a lot. And then I'll keep you guys updated as I practice this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you Flexi Spot for sponsoring this video.